Hello guys, welcome back to Let's Say Secret Files 2. Oh god, that was a bit uh, bad for my throat. Anyway, welcome back to Let's Say Secret Files 2. We can't... The upper deck is off limits at present. So we need to find something that this this guy's left. Um... See that without a flashlight. This is the note that was fixed to my bikini top. The following text has been scrawled on it. Are you looking for this here? I also have the rest. Come and get it. How? Here's a little clue. They come from outer space, but seen from down here, that doesn't seem so important anymore. I don't know what this is all about. And whether whoever wrote it is just mental. The sick bay is empty, or at least there's nobody to be seen. I don't get this. I honestly don't understand what's going on here. Small round balls made of marzipan. They taste great. That's all you need to know. I just don't feel like bathing at the moment. Looks comfortable. I think even women should be able to survive for a few minutes without their handbags. I'll leave it here for the time being. Alright, guys, I am stuck. Already I'm stuck. I, I have no idea what to do. Uh, I've walked around everywhere I can, I've looked at everything that I can. Keeps you nice and warm during cold nights at sea. Not necessary, it's clean enough. Carrying soap around by the bucket load probably won't help me much. A bell. No idea what it can be used for. The wash basin, faucet, as well as almost the entire room seem to have been ignored whenever renovation and or repair work have been done. The faucet is broken. The wash basin is in a terrible <sighs> Right. 
give me two secs, guys, and I'm going to quickly look up what to do, because I'm stumped. I really am. I mean... I don't want to keep walking around, you know, there's not really much for us to do in this small area. I'm just going to go back and forth to the same places, and I'm going to have to cut out quite a lot. So, I'll be back in two minutes. Alright, I would never have known this. I've looked up how to do this next bit. The next clue is on this. I remember how uh, she said that there's no... Well... One of those mini carousels you often get outside supermarkets. I'm afraid I won't fit in there. And I can't move it either. The wheels are missing on one side. I would never have known this. can't only fly but also roll what a technical revolution the aliens would go green with envy the lower side of the window is filthy you can hardly see the UFO through it the window is completely Completely filthy. I can see that. Oh, man. Excuse me. Wash basin, faucet, as well as carrying soap around. <sighs> Calling it a pool. I just don't feel like bathing at the moment. I don't want you to bathe. Use the bucket. soap for an ice bucket full of water. That should be enough. Alright. I, I don't think I would work this out properly normally, but... The cleaning equipment is complete. Now I just have to find someone to do the cleaning.
Lovely. Great. Even on vacation, I can't escape the role that this spiteful and unjust society has forced on me. Whatever happened to the achievements of women's lib? At least I'm being diligent. The skylight is clean again. Nice. I don't think you are supposed to be able to open it. The skylight is more like a sky dark with that carousel on top of it. I can't see a thing. There's a note at the foot of the children's carousel. You will find the last clue that leads to your suitcase at the back of the ship. Hey, what kind of a sick mind is this? Sending me around the entire ship and writing me strange messages. Should I be seriously worried about this? Board a ship is probably as pointless as it is to argue about keeping a vegetarian cookbook in a slaughterhouse. All right, well, it, I thought it was up here, but apparently it's not. This is why I don't... This is what, one thing I have about these games. Some of the way you get stuck is just... They're just it's just so... It is hard. It's not easy. It said that the next clue would be hidden at the back of the ship. Maybe that didn't mean a real ship, but this picture here. Maybe I should remove it from the wall. Hmm, I can't see anything on the wall. The Noah's Ark drawing. There's a photo stuck to the back of the picture. A wrong way round, unfortunately. So I can't see the image. Simply ripping it off won't work either. It would probably destroy the photo. Okay, now that was a guess. Photo without problems. Oh, it's a picture of Max, my ex-boyfriend. A picture of my ex-boyfriend Max shortly after his skiing accident with his leg in plaster. If I'm not mistaken, that was also in my suitcase. Underneath the photo, someone's written in felt-tip pen, "Poor guy, he should see a doctor." Just wait. If I catch the person who's been spreading my stuff around the ship, I'll send him to the sick bay. A picture of my ex-boyfriend underneath the photo, someone's written in felt tip pen. Poor guy. The door to the sick bay is locked. The sick bay is empty, or at least there's nobody to be seen. <sighs> Congratulations! You actually did it! What? Who are you? What are you doing here? I'm Oscar, and you're Nina. That's right, isn't it? Yes, but... See, I never thought you'd figure it out. I made an extra special effort, but you are really good. Made an effort? How? With the paper chase, of course. You mean you wrote all those notes, and you... Yes! Great, huh? Ow. You stole my suitcase and dropped my things all over the ship? No, the suitcase was just lying around. I found it and read your name, and I thought you'd like to have it back. Okay, let me get this straight. You just found the suitcase. Yes, it was just lying around here all the time. Did you see who brought it here? No, uh, no idea. 
But that's not important. What's important is that you won the paper chase. I don't quite know if I should be relieved that there wasn't some psychopathic madman behind the whole thing, or... Well, the main thing is that the case is back again. But who brought it here, and why? It was a great game, wasn't it? Yeah, great. Do me a favor. Next time you want to play this type of game, tell me first. Promise? Hmm, okay. Thanks. And now it's time for bed. Okay. Good night, Nina. Sleep tight. Here I was, scared, witless, and worrying about psychopaths and such like. And it turns out it was just some cheeky kid who wanted to have a paper chase. I think I'm showing the first symptoms of persecution mania. Maybe in the future I shouldn't look for a conspiracy behind every little thing. But after my experience in Tunguska, be that as it may, I should lie down for an hour and relax a bit. Shut your mouth or I'll kill you! feeling? I, um, I felt better. My head... Don't worry. Everything's okay. You've just got a mild concussion. You should be fine after a few hours rest. Have you caught the guys yet? What guys? Well, the, the ones who were in my cabin. I don't know anything about that. But that's why I'm here. You're here because you hit your head on the door. It was the other way round. I don't walk into doors just for the fun of it. We're on a ship. You can easily be knocked off balance by a large wave. Nonsense. Somebody slammed the door against my head. And what about the guys who were in my cabin? What guys? Miss Jordan said... Miss Jordan? Who's that? Katerina Jordan is another passenger. I think she's helping the captain to fill in the insurance form. Oh, really? Where? In the restaurant, I assume. But you should have a rest first. Later, you can... Have a rest? Yes, I can do that later. But now, I just want to know why that stupid cow is going around telling everyone that I enjoy walking into doors in my spare time. I'm very curious to hear her explanation. Then this wave came up and Ms. Kalenkov fell against the door? You had better consider your next answer very carefully. Oh, Ms. Kalenkov. It's so good to see you back on your feet. Are you feeling better? We're just writing out the accident report and Ms. Jordan is kindly... Oh yes, Ms. Jordan is extremely helpful and she just loves telling stories. Whether her stories have anything to do with the truth isn't really that important. I don't understand. Miss Kalenkov, you, you shouldn't upset yourself. It's bad for your health. I'm sure the doctor prescribed strict bed rest for you. That would suit you. I would like to know why you tell such lies. Didn't you get enough attention as a kid? Oh, calm down. You, you don't seem to have quite recovered from your knock on the head. I am still clear enough in the head to know the difference between having the door slammed against my head and falling against the door, unlike you, apparently. Is the pain still bad? I'll show you what real pain is in a minute. Ladies, ladies, I suggest we postpone the report until our next stop. We have all had time to calm down a bit. Uh, but... I think a bit of peace and quiet could do both of you some good. I would suggest you both return to your cabins. Enjoy the cruise, and if it helps you and all of us to relax, just try to avoid each other for the next two days. But I must say... I think I've made myself clear, haven't I? Yes? I'm glad. Then I wish you both a pleasant trip on the Calypso. Why does Katharina Jordan talk such a complete load of garbage? Either she just wants to look incredibly important, or... Now where is my handbag? I don't believe it. More stuff goes missing here than in the Bermuda Triangle. Surely nobody would just walk in here and steal my handbag. 
On the other hand, there was definitely someone in my cabin yesterday, and maybe Katharina Jordan has a good reason for telling pointless stories about my supposed accident. But why would she want to break into my cabin and steal my handbag? And there was this male voice. Never mind, I'll ask her in my own discreet way. Maybe there's a really simple explanation for this. But before I embarrass myself in front of Miss Jordan, I should definitely ask the porter first. Alright guys, uh, I'm going to call that a video. Uh, I'm waiting for a delivery today. So we're going to save the game. I'm going to thank you all very much for watching once again. And I'll see you next time. Ta-ta for now.